Okay, so we're going to use BDU version 2.1 2020. So we're going to run an administrator. So on this one right here, I put in a Kingston 8 gig, but actually the 8 gig is not good enough for Catalina or Big Sur, so you have to get the uh, 16 gig. But right now, I'm just gonna make this as a um, sample, okay? To create an EFI folder with, with this utility. So now, in here, I have High Sierra. I want to use this one then to put all of the uh, software and stuff. So, EFI folder for both Clover and Open Core. Alright, it's all done. So, let's look in here. If you look in here, they created this one, which is the EFI folder. And inside here, you have a clover and a boot. Core, we're going to go to GitHub and William BJ1. And we're going to download this one. So, this one is 0 0.6.4 release. Download it. Inside Open Core release, you will have everything. So X64 EFI. We're going to copy this one and we're going to paste it inside the EFI folder along with Clover. Now make sure the boot, we have to take this one and put also in the boot folder. So we can boot both. Open Core or Clover. Inside this BDU 5127, now I have the EFI folder, Clover, and OC 064 and 5127. Inside the boot folder, I have two boot. One is from Open Core and one is from Clover. So, depends on your BIOS. Some, like HP, you can't select when you boot, you can select the file to boot from, which you can go to Clover and boot from here. Or you can go to OC and boot from here. Okay? But other BIOS like Dell or any other vendors, they won't let you to boot from the individual files. So you have to go in here and rename this one to boot 64 EFI. So if I want to boot, I have to rename this one to 5127, that's Clover, and I rename this one back to EFI. Then the boot is going to go into the boot and boot from Open Core. But this time, I'm going to boot from Clover. So I'm going to put, rename this one so I remember 064 and rename this one back. Okay? So that's how you boot back and forth with two Clover and Open Core inside the EFI folder. The structure of each 
bootloader. So let's start with Clover. So when you open the Clover, inside the Clover, there are three important folders that you must have all the stuff that you need. The first one's ACPI, and inside this ACPI is the patch folder. And inside the patch folder, you have all of these called the with the extension AML. Okay. Inside the drivers, UEFI, you have all of the EFI files that help you to boot the Mac OS. And inside the text folder, there's a folder called other where you put all your texts that you need to use. Text is like drivers, so these are for the drivers of your components inside your computer. You must have them, okay? And themes, if you want it to display. The most important ones, all of them must have, is called the config. So the config, if you set it correctly, then you can boot. So this is Clover. What's the difference between Clover and Open Core? So the Open Core inside, they also have ACPI, the same. It contains all the .aml for you to boot. And they also have the drivers. These are the EFI files that help you to boot your machine. And also, CAX folder. These are all the text you can put, but the difference between the Clover and Open Core is that you have to enable each of these texts inside the config file, unlike Clover. Whatever you put in the text folder, they will try to inject them all. So it's a little bit different. Open Core does not have the theme. So if you want to boot with the graphics, display with the icons, you need the resources. And the resources are not interchangeable. So you have to get the right resources for each of the version. So for instance, they have the audio. So the audio have a lot of waves in here, but I don't use any of these, so it depends on your EFI folder. If your EFI folder is small, you can delete. It's 94, 95 meg already. You can delete everything inside here. You don't really use it to make it smaller. The images is all of these icons so it would display. In order for this one to work in open core, the drivers you must have is called the open canopy EFI. If you don't have this one, it will not display. That's a different between the Clover and Open Core. Now, 
I have a tutorial on the open core on how to create the EFI to boot. And the next one I'm going to do is how to boot with Clover for both. Okay? For both. Catalina and Big Sur. So I got it working now. So the newer version, the 5127, is much easier to boot for Catalina and Open Core than the older version. So don't ask me for the EFI folder. This is how you create an EFI folder. Now the detail will be in a different tutorial.